performing a tire inspection is something you should be doing on every customer's car. But if you're still relying on this as your fundamental inspection tool, well, you need to watch today's edition of The Trainer. Today's edition of The Trainer is brought to you by Autel. Learn more about the entire line of Autel diagnostic tooling at www.autel.com. Performing a visual safety inspection is the least you should do for every customer that comes into your shop. An inspection of the tires and tire pressure is an important part of that inspection. Consider that the contact patch on the tire is roughly the size of your hand and every driver input acceleration, turning, braking, is dependent on those contact patches staying in contact with the road. Tires that are worn or improperly inflated can affect the tire's ability to do just that. And there's absolutely no excuse for sending a customer down the road with a tire that has either not been corrected or at least the customer has been advised that the tire has a problem. In the old days, we used to use a tire crayon, a pencil style pressure gauge, and a manual tire tread depth gauge to do these inspections. Today, technology demands a more accurate and professional approach. Using the Autel ITS 600 and the TBE 200 together makes the process easy and more complete. It begins by noting the status of the TPMS warning indicator as you bring the vehicle into your service bay. Is the light on or off? And if it's on, is the light steady or blinking? A steady warning light indicates that at least one tire pressure sensor is reporting a tire that is underinflated by about 20% or more of spec. This alone is a safety issue. Tires that are underinflated run hotter and the contact patch is distorted, affecting handling and braking. A light that's flashing indicates a fault in the TPMS system itself. And either of these situations can be easily diagnosed with the Autel ITS 600. Simply connect the VCI to the vehicle's diagnostic link connector as you would any other scan tool. The tool can automatically populate the vehicle information, or you can use one of the other four methods to enter the info, using the license plate, VIN scan, or manual entry. With the vehicle identified, raise the vehicle up to a comfortable working height and begin the inspection. The first step is to test the sensors. Look for two things, the condition of the sensor and the accuracy of the sensor. Compare the sensor pressure reading to the actual tire pressure using a digital tire pressure gauge. An old pencil style gauge was fine back in the day, but it isn't accurate enough for use today. Any sensor that is not fully functional, that is reporting inaccurately, not reporting at all, or indicating a weak battery should be replaced. And do a visual inspection of the Schrader valve itself. Any corrosion inside the valve is another reason for its replacement. It's not unusual to find the tires slightly underinflated, but if you find one that is lower than the others, rotate that tire slowly and look for anything that may have punctured the tire and recommend the appropriate repair. And rather than rely on a mechanical tread depth gauge, I'm going to use the Autel TBE 200 to perform the inspection. The laser measurement capability of the TBE 200 results in an accuracy of 0.1 millimeters and helps paint a picture of the wear pattern. The tool integrates with the ITS 600 and allows you to prepare a detailed report for your customer and, of course, for your shop records. If you do need to replace the sensor, consider using the Autel MX sensor. The MX sensor is a universal programmable sensor that will work with any OE direct TPMS system. So it eliminates the need to carry multiple part numbers. One part number will do. 
Now, what do you say we talk about a commonly made mistake next? The difference between programming and relearning. Programmable sensors must be told what vehicle they are being mated to. And the ITS 600 offers a few different ways to perform this task. Copy by activation takes the ID of the existing sensor that is recovered when the sensor is activated and programs it to the replacement. Copy by OBD takes the IDs stored in the module and programs them to the replacements. Copy by manual input allows the user to manually enter the data to the new sensor. And AutoCreate generates brand new codes that are then programmed to the sensors. Once the sensors are programmed, they have to be introduced to the module that oversees the TPMS system on the vehicle. This is the relearn process. The relearn process tells the vehicle what sensor is in what tire. In some cases, the spare may also be equipped with the sensor. It's not only an important part when replacing a sensor, it's an important part of routine tire maintenance when changing tires or even rotating tires from one position to the other. You can find the specific process for your customer's vehicle in your service information system. Tire inspections will always be a fundamental service that you should perform for each and every customer that comes to your shop. Doing it with the methods available today, inspecting both treadwear and TPMS operation will ensure that your inspection is a truly professional one. If you'd like any more information about any of the tools that I used in today's video, be sure to visit www.maxitpms.com. And of course, if you'd like to check out the entire line of Autel Diagnostic Tooling, visit www.autel.com. And as always, thanks for watching.